Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss an important feature that has been included in Power Pages called as PowerFX. This was a uh, very expected feature that we are expecting uh, since long time that how we can use PowerFX in Power Pages website for designing our website. Most of the times for server side objects, we use liquid objects, right, in Power Pages. But right now you can ignore you can ignore liquid objects or liquid scripting. Instead, you can use Power FX. For example, let's say here I want to display hello and dynamically I want to display guest if the user is not logged in. If the user is logged in, I want to display hello current login user full name. How can I do that? I need to write liquid code for this, right? Most of the times we use liquid code in the website by navigating to the Power Pages Management app and writing the liquid code or we can edit here, right? If you click on here and you can just edit it. Let me click on edit. I can go outside and click this and here I can click on edit the content. I can directly click on click on edit code here on the top right if i click on this edit code it will open visual studio editor and here i can write liquid code this is what we normally do so let me show you how what we are doing actually using liquid code so that you can uh, check the difference how easy to use power effects instead of writing liquid scripting inside your page so this is my visual studio code online which will load the uh, actual content that is used for rendering this home page and let me try some liquid code to display hello guest if the user is not logged in and hello current user full name if the user is logged in so let me try to use some liquid code then i will try to use power effects to tell you how it is easy so let me just use the same credential that i am used to log in my environment so that it will load the page targeted page in the visual studio code editor now it is fetching the content right now here i can see if you scroll up you see this is the content where the changes is available right hello guest this is what i have updated here hello guest now i want to make it dynamic so what i can do i'll just remove this and write down and write down a dynamic code what is the code i want to write you know that the uh, liquid code can be written like this so colibrasis percentage then you can type if if user object is available what i want to do i want to render hello and i want to render the uh, hello should be static so keep it outside of the bracket or scripting uh, liquid scripting uh, block and inside that i want to use user dot full name this is the object liquid object user that you can refer to get the user information of the logged in user else what i want to do i want to display so i can write down else this is how you can write liquid code else hello and if user is not available i want to use guest okay now how it renders you have to close this block and if now this is a liquid code that is represented to display a message with dynamic content okay now what will happen let me just save it so that it will synchronize i'll go to the platform power platform and power pages website and synchronize this now once it will synchronized i can test this okay now let me test how it works i'm expecting if the user is log logged in already it will display hello user full name if it is not logged in it will display hello guest now let me check click on the preview and 
see the magic of liquid code but we can replace that liquid code with power fx so click on the preview and click on the desktop every time you change your code you have to synchronize so that it will pull uh, to your studio now click on desktop and see the magic here i'm expecting it should display hello login user i have already logged in so it should display hello nitin kumar you see now why it is displaying hello nitin kumar this is because i have already i have already logged in with that user okay that's why it is showing this now if i log out it will display hello guest right let us wait and check you see guys it is saying hello guest so that means our liquid code is working fine as expected but now we are moving from liquid code to power fx so i'll go here and instead of liquid code let me just remove this and just type here hello guest okay and save it i will write power fx in my editor not here so what i will do i'll just close it and synchronize here click on synchronize now let me use power fx instead of liquid code how it is easy you can understand you have to synchronize all the configuration changes you have done any coding you have changed any configuration you have changed you have to synchronize so that every changes you have done in external uh, helper apps that will be synchronized to your studio now it is loading the page now i'll click this and click on this function you see this is the power of integration if you click this a power fx toolbar or formula bar will open on the top where i can write the code now in the formula bar when you want to include power fx you have to first type equal to after equal to you can you can write power fx let's say i want to define a power fx to concatenate guest with login user so what i can do i can use a concatenation formula or power fx and i want to concatenate first a hello and next i want to concatenate current user which is user object in power fx same applicable to canvas app also user dot full name you can also use current login user id okay if you want to concatenate with current login user id also you can concatenate let's say i want to display login user dot email plus i want to concatenate with user dot dataverse user id right now this will keep concatenating information so let me just uh, give a space to concatenate so otherwise it will not be identified properly right now let me test this click on save now in the wrong time it will evaluate the expression and render in the web page so let me go here and try to preview this writing an equal to is very important so i can go here and test this now it is telling that value cannot be null parameter name value why because the value is null here this is the value and this value is null because it is not logged in the user is not logged in that's why this value is null now here i can do login and test this now let me log in and see if it is pulling data or not now it will display the login user hello nitin kumar 
this is the gmail and this is the gyd of the contact record right this is how we fetched using power fx right no need to use liquid code so here microsoft has already created a page where uh, the all power pages power fx formula are given you can test it how it works and uh, let me know if you have any comment okay so try to replace your uh, power fx uh, your liquid code with power fx you can also page data you can use page function all functions that is supported you can use it in power pages you can also define in a uh, different way if you want to integrate or inject dynamic information or power effects inside a text you can also do that let's say i want to use hello and after that i want to insert like this so i can use dollar symbol and use the power effects concatenate and here i want to concatenate hello and the current login user full name this is also one type of representation that you can use power fx in addition to your static text and using dollar symbol this will also give you the same result that uh, can be given using equal to symbol okay so go to power fx microsoft website and understand what are the references available for my references and you can practice and you can understand now how liquid can be replaced with power fx right so thank you everyone watching this video. See you next time. Bye everyone.